Last time we've seen levels like this uh, on the Winnipeg River or any of the stations uh, is never. We've never had levels this high. Uh, it's a monumental, kind of a historic event. I also uh, was talking to Wayne and... Uh, during normal operation for most of our stations, very minimal spillway use. The spillway diverts the excess water that can't be used to generate electricity through the powerhouse. So all the water you're seeing behind me is, is the excess and it's passing on the river flow uh, down to the next station. This spill event is max, almost maximizing all our spillway bays. We have really never seen this much water flowing through all these spillway bays before and uh, we still have capacity though so that's uh, the good thing. The question about how much we hold back water has been asked often and we actually pass all the water that comes from upstream. We don't have any storage really in this system. We've been monitoring our dams and assessing them. That's a big part of my work is emergency preparedness. And at this stage we've been very confident that our dams are able to pass this water the greater concern of passing all this water is to do so between the six plants on a Winnipeg River station fairly uniformly without a lot of uh, oversteering, I would say. So we want to have it very stable as far as the river flow system. Our dams are monitored. We have inspectors that go out and look at our embankment structures and our concrete structures, our spillways. We have increased the frequency at some locations because of the high flow events and stuff. We have a team of, of staff that look at all the different events to ensure that the stations continue to run. Our dam safety groups, they're a huge supporter. They run scenarios, they help train us prior. Uh, and then as well, throughout the event, that we're experiencing right now. We've got multiple groups, our engineering support, we've got environmental groups with Imagine Hydro Environmental Services. We have people in the water resources group that look at the inflows coming in from, from Ontario and Lake of the Woods. It, you have to really understand that for some this is a pretty exciting time because uh, we are doing well. Uh, but for others there's a real struggle uh, because there are things outside of work that are impacting and it's due to the exact same high water event.